what's up everybody it's your boy the dog manny bringing you another wow it's been a very long time vg news and this one is going to be very very newsy um silent hill uh as you already know konami fired hideo no, not hideo kojima fuck it i forgot the cat's name it's less than they should not have done this in a long time but if they fired him main cat behind um i think it was hideo kojima yeah, Metal Gear Solid. They fired him. They did him dirty as hell. Oh, we didn't. We're not. We're not that evil corporation. We're not gonna just fire somebody who gave us, you know, millions of years of memory. Nah, I'm just gonna kick this guy out because of reasons that's unspecific. But anyway, he was making a game called Silent Hill, uh, starring Norman Reedus, a uh, cat from Walking Dead, and um, you can tell by the PT trailer that was on PlayStation now store i still got mine because i didn't do it but um yeah so they canceled silent hills which was fucking so close to be done but i'm gonna lay some more backstory later i'm just gonna just paint that picture konami had a game being made by somebody that they fired and then it just it seems like they wanted to get rid of all her shit all right that's the tone now there's a rumor that Sonic Hills may be going to Xbox One. I'm going to read this shit, because I don't know how true this is. An anonymous source has reportedly told Rooster Teeth that Microsoft is in talks with Konami to purchase and release Sonic Hill as an exclusive. Wow. Um, the Microsoft hasn't commented on the rumor nor speculation as of yet, and neither has Konami, but Best believe if there is any updates, I will post the video up to let you know about that because this is fucking huge. I mean, PT was a very great fucking demo. Could have been a nice little indie game if they would have, you know, finished it up. But I mean, it could have been something. But hey, I was expecting it. I got a PlayStation 4. I was expecting that. Put that down there on my collection, but they canceled it, which really pissed me off. So it's like any chance of it being back, hell, they can put it on the fucking Wii U and I, well. They can put on the Wii U and I'll still fucking get it. Because I want to just play that game. I want to be scared shitless. <sighs> but according to Rooster Teeth sources, Silent Hill is 80% complete and Microsoft is trying to purchase the property for billions of dollars by E3 of this year. <laughs> where it will be really <laughs> where it will be revealed as an Xbox One exclusive. Okay. Uh, it's starting to sound far-fetched now, but we won't know until E3, apparently. Uh, it could be released sometime as March of next year. Uh, Konami pulled a PT demo from the PlayStation Store to, quote, as a show of good faith to Microsoft, Rooster Teeth said. Hmm. It's important to note that billions is a huge amount of money for a franchise that hasn't been in the gaming spotlight for many years. True. Amazon purchased for Twitch nine hundred and seventy million dollars in two thousand four. Microsoft buying Mojang for two point five billion in two thousand fourteen. Disney licensed Lucas Films and Star Wars for four point five billion in two thousand twelve. Why would Microsoft buy s fucking Silent Hill a IP for just that game? I, uh, either the game or the franchise. I don't know. For billions. That's. Mm. But, like I said, it was 80% done. I hope somebody picks it up. I don't give a fuck who picks it up. But, somebody needs to pick that shit up and roll with it. But, it's all in Konami and Microsoft hands now, apparently. Well, Konami mainly. They, they actually have the shit in their vault. You know, punk bitches. Um, on another note, um, Xbox One owners awaiting an official background music feature may want to get comfortable. Responding to a fan on Twitter today, Phil Spitzer, Spitzer said that the feature won't be delivered until after Windows 10 integration comes to Xbox One. So it's probably you know, sometime in the summer-ish. The currently scheduled for post-summer, meaning the background isn't coming at f until fall, maybe. He said, uh, we have to land Windows 10 on Xbox One before we will get the Xbox Music background music shit so a little later after that so 
if you want to do that, then fine. Because I actually do kind of miss that feature. Playing Forza Motorsport and f it presents Fast and Furious. Listening to those radio stations suck. I maybe want to drive out to a little bit of Disturbed and some hot shit. But, you know, for right now, we just have some channels. Or we just get Pandora and use it in a snap feature. It doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah. This is clearly a demand for a better alternative, though. On the Xbox feedback site, more than 19,000 people have voted for play music from apps without snap. Which is basically the background music. But, hey, at least you have that, so suck it. <laughs> But anyway, that's all I have for you right now. I made this video really short. And, um, you know, like and comment on some stuff. Um, check out the Conquer video from the Project Spark joint. Uh, kind of brought back memories of a little Conquer game. No, it's not me talking over it. So you ain't got to worry about hearing this annoying ass, dry ass voice. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, you know, hit like, subscribe. And if you'd like to see more, show some love and you know what you'd like me to talk about on the next VG News. Is I would need some help from you, whoever watches now, because time is really of my essence right now. I can't be on it like I used to be. So whenever I get some free time, I will definitely crank them out. Uh, yeah, later.